Hello, good evening. We are in the middle of uh, COVID-19 Singapore. Um, the date is um, 4th of May and the time is 11 p.m. Um, I got a lot of questions from many hobbies. They were asking me about how to use Lava Direct. This is the bottle. This is a 120 ml. And um, I'm going to show you how you use it for Pute, Jumbo, Shama and Huibi, or what you call Hua Mei or the China, China Trust. Okay, let's get on for Pute. This is actually a Pute cup, the plastic one, as you can see. This is the Pute square rocket. This is about 45 ml in volume with full. This is only about 15 ml. Okay, so let's talk about Pute first. If you want to give Lava Direct as a health supplement we don't want to boost the bird so as a health supplement is it is two drops into this cup you fill it up to about 80 percent you can vary from two to four drops don't go more than that why because the amount of water is very little so if you go more than four drops it's going to be too powerful for the pute for this 45 ml rocket you can put two drops to about six drops that is for health supplement that means you don't want to power the bird you just want to give vitamin supplement so if you want to power the pute to make it strong for performance for chai for competition then you can go up to eight drops or ten drops and you fill this container full Please do not use tap water. Please do not use boiled tap water. Please use good mineral water or distilled water or your home special filtration system. Okay. Now let's go to the jumbo. This is a jumbo cup. And for us to give like a vitamin supplement using lava direct for the jumbo, fill this cup 80% full of water. You can put 8 drops of Lava Direct, 8 drops, 10 drops, 15 drops. It's like a vitamin supplement. Okay, that is the low to medium vitamin supplement. Bear with me a while, I will go to the more powerful boosting. Okay, now this is the standard Sharma cup. Huibi also uses this around this size. There's another size slightly smaller, but this is about... 50 ml is full to the brim so when we fill 80 percent it's about 45 ml the same as this rocket so this one for the shama and the huibi or the huame as you call it if you want to give vitamin supplement we do about 12 to 15 drops if you go to 20 drops it's still very good and still doesn't drive the bird uh, to full performance okay so that is vitamin supplement you can give for four days or six days of a week when you give to any one of these containers remember two days later you have to wash this you have to brush this best if you dry it before you you pour water or your lava direct solution again okay so now that is the vitamin supplementation part that's not boosting the bird for performance now to continue to boost the pute with lava direct let's say you want to go for competitions you want to go for chai you want to challenge uh, bird to bird uh, over at chai tio and all that how many drops should you put inside this pute cup maximum eight drops do not go more than eight drops if you want to try then my recommendation max 10 drops don't go more than that so normally for me if i really want to push the pute this amount this cup i fill it up to 80 or 90 percent with water i put about eight drops and i give for four days on the second day or the third day I bring the bird to chai or to compete okay 
now to maximum boost the jumbo what should i do again four days before the competition do this if you want maximum performance performance from lava direct what you do is let, let me pour straight okay you pour directly up to about 80 percent you know if you pour half cup the problem is if you are working and the weather is hot you will dry up so pour to about 80 percent you give like this straight out of the bottle okay this will boost your jumbo pretty hard and you boost it very well later i will tell tell you how to further increase the performance okay so for sharma and wavy let's look at it you want to go for competition again do this just pour directly it's okay the it, the bird the bird won't get poison or anything or go mad but you become very strong very fierce if he drinks this okay some people and fellow hobbies friends all that they did ask me can I make it stronger? Yes, you can. You get lava concentrate. This is lava concentrate. It's 15 ml bottle. You get this bottle, you get this solution. It's very, very concentrated. More concentrated than lava direct. What you do is you take this, you open it up, and you add. Now, I'm doing it for jumbo, okay? How many drops can I go? You can go to 20 drops, you can go to 30 drops. It becomes very powerful. The same for Sharma, you can even go up to 30 drops, you can even go up to 40 drops. So the question is, let's say my competition is on Sunday. When do I give so powerful? Okay, you give on Friday night. Why you give on Friday night? Because when you give on Friday night and you cover cloth and let the bird sleep, the next morning you don't have to worry. If the bird wakes up earlier than you in the early morning, like 5.30, and he's thirsty, the bird will look for a drink and you will just drink. By the time you open your cloth on the bird, that concentration really is inside the bird. And you will continue to drink for the whole of Saturday. And if you are kiasu, you want to go the further mile, you pour away this, you pour fresh lava direct, you add about 10 to 20 drops of lava concentrate, make it strong on Saturday evening. Don't change the liquid. Sunday, bring the bird, go and chai, go and compete. That is called heart maximum boosting. Okay, the problem with all these vitamins is always remember if you boost for four days, you boost for six days, whether it's concentrated or not concentrated, it doesn't matter. But as long as you boost, you should give the bird a chance to burn off everything, all the vitamins in the body. So give plain water for the next four days after you boost. Let's say your boosting is four days or six days. The next four days, you should give plain water. Don't jam the bird. The vitamins for lava is very powerful. You will stay in the bird for one to two days. You can stay in the bird for three days. So let it burn out. Same for us. We cannot drink thousand year old ginseng every day and then don't stop. It will jam our body. So we have to have a break so let the bird have a break come down in energy and form then we can boost the bird properly again this way we'll never jam the bird we will never damage the bird that's the first thing about vitamins that we must understand okay now the other thing is the deworm issue this is the deworm it can be used for it can be used for finches any birds really any birds it's a universal deworm it can be used for pute it can be used for jumbo it can be used for huibi shama all these birds it's just that the dosage is different okay i have videos for pute for number one 
worm for putte. Jumbo, I have the notes I can explain to you. Now, the thing is, all birds will have worms. Whether the worms is visible in or too small to see, or you can come out like from the morobo, the zebra growth, you can see big worms. So, scientists have been studying this. And the worms do not just get transmitted by dirty drinking water, dirty food, feces, bird droppings. The problem is there are a lot of microscopic worms. They are so small, their eggs are so small, and the worms themselves are so small, we need a microscope to see. And a lot of these type of worms, parasite worms, they are airborne. They write on water droplets, they write on dust pellets, dust particles actually, or what you call food pellet particles. Okay, the chaitnyo, the arena, the competition, any bird that has a lot of worms is going to infect the rest of the birds that do not have parasites, internal parasites. So, you have to deworm the bird. That's the reason why I deworm my birds. Even though some of my birds, I don't feed live food. And of course, live food from the tadpole to the worm to the grasshopper, all this has microscopic parasites, worms and microscopic parasites, very small ones. You need to get rid of them. Why? If you don't, it's like cleaning the bird out. If you don't and you start giving lava direct, you start giving lava concentrated or any vitamins of your choice, you are actually boosting the worms inside your bird. And what happens when you get parasites getting strong in the bodies of your bird? They cause a lot of problems. They cause diarrhea, wet stools, they actually cause problems in inconsistent form. You can't build a form properly. You don't notice this because you can't see the worms, but you notice it's very difficult to bring your bird up to form. It's not just like, I do this, I do that, and it should go that way. Most of, most of the time, if you don't deworm your bird, is lucky and actually we don't have to depend on luck we can actually control the bird so it's like car engine servicing let's say you service your car at every 10,000 kilometers if you don't service your car at 10,000 kilometers you keep on using the car your engine will choke with blackened engine oil so the problem about birds is if we don't get rid of these parasites, yes, some of these parasites will die, they'll give birth to their eggs, then their babies take over. You're always stuck in a circle where you cannot control the form and the health of your bird properly as you want. And that's what I've been telling a lot of um, khakis, a lot of friends. They ask me, how can you make videos of birds, so many birds, all that? One of the best answers is this. It's not a secret. It's just that this deworm works and it works very well across Pute, Jumbo, Huibi, Shama, our tropical songbirds. So that's the key. This is the first key to unlock the health and the form of your bird. The second key will be your bird food. That one, that will depend on your experience, your preference. If your bird eat fruits, then make sure those fruits, you know what the fruits are used for. Make sure the fruits are ripe. If the fruits are unripe or half ripe, they are going to be sour. They're going to have excess fruit acids. All this cause the bird to have a stomach ache and the bird will sit there, play, don't play, want to play, don't play. You get a lot of problems again. So give properly ripened sweet fruits to your birds if they eat fruits. Now, for the live food eaters, that means like shamas, the hoibi, when you can give live food, please make sure that your live food is as clean as possible. If you 
do not know much about the live food that you're feeding to your birds, like even for putes and jumbo, you can Google, you can search in YouTube. There's a lot of information out there. Okay, they will tell you what's the problem about worms, what's the problem about parasites in tadpoles, frogs, uh, centipedes, earthworms, mealworms, the black soldier fly larvae. All this information is on the internet. You can Google, you can also search in YouTube. You're bound to find a lot of this. So, let's say you feed certain live food. Like I used to feed grasshoppers, so although I don't know where the grasshoppers come from, I study the grasshopper. I look at its behavior, see whether it's sickly, whatever. Um, I feed good stuff for my grasshopper to eat so that since the grasshopper is healthy, free of disease or very little pathogens or bacteria or parasites, when these good grasshoppers get into the body of the bird, the bird eats them, there's a better chance that the bird will perform better. So it's just, just like the same as us. We eat food. We have to make sure that our chicken, pork, beef, mutton, fish is clean. So if we don't make sure that our food is clean, we eat them, we're going to get stomach ache. And um, if I were to take you out on a 2.4 kilometers run and you have a stomach ache, or you have diarrhea, you're not going to perform very well. So this affects everything from your drink, from your bird food, to your fruits, to your live food, including the cleanliness of your cage. So um, that's about all. I hope I help to explain about lava, how you boost your bird as a vitamin supplement, low boost by drops, and how you go to the maximum and beyond. The beyond is very easy. Just pour straight from the bottle into your cup. Then you want to add how many drops from the, the lava concentrate. It's really up to you because you know your bird, study your bird. So I don't really advise using that rocket, you know, the jumbo rocket. That's about 120 ml. Is this, this is 120 ml, so the rocket is about 100 ml, and I I wouldn't recommend to pour this everything all inside the rocket. If you use the rocket, pour maybe about one third. Then you can use this to concentrate it by dropping 10 drops, 20 drops, 30 drops. So thank you guys, thank you all for your support. I hope this video clears up. Um, a lot of misunderstanding about how to use lava and I really hope that this also explains how and why. You can see this is direct from the bottle. So it's not that concentrated, it's concentrated enough to power the bird better than uh, what we would just feed the bird normally. So this is pretty concentrated, pretty powerful but you can actually go further. This is more of a advanced. In fact, some hobbies, uh, they have played with lava for lava concentrate for three, four years already. They know about this, but it's actually for the benefit of the new and current users of lava. And uh, a lot of questions from non-lava users that I make this video and I hope it helps you. And I thank you for your support. Okay, stay safe. Stay healthy, and I think we'll get out of the COVID-19 pretty well. Just take care of our health as we take care of the health of our birds well. Okay, see you guys. Thank you.